Hey guys, one of my viewers messaged me and said that he was having trouble with uh, microing the Navy. So I just wanted to do a video for him. Uh, but basically, I'm going to show you some just very basic mechanics about what I do with the Navy and um, how to micro the Navy. As you can see here, I have a naval exercise mission out here in the Eastern North Sea. I've been told that you, there's more optimal areas to do it. Um, so you can look into that if you want, but for, for my purposes, just exercising right here with a very small sub Navy is fine. And I do that because it doesn't waste a lot of fuel and it gives me a little naval experience so that I'm able to upgrade my sub and destroyer. Uh, you don't need a lot of Navy experience, especially as Germany, you're not going to be doing a whole lot with Navy. So what I want you to think of with Navy is they are meat shields for your amphibious landings. And that's it. That's all I use them for. You're ne not going to have a Navy, you know, be able to uh, capitulate a country. It's just not going to happen. You're going to need ground forces to capitulate whatever country you're going up against. Let's say the UK. So the Navy, for me at least, because I mainly play Germany and like European nations over here, even as Italy and as France, the Navy is just there to supplement your ground forces. I'm not going out on a limb trying to, you know, control world trade by um, get it. You can, as Germany especially, spam out subs and uh, start taking out transports in the Atlantic. Yes, you can. I don't do it because I use the subs and everything uh, concentrated for the amphibious landings. And so just as an example, let me show you how to micro a sea lion. We've got our Navy. It's all in one package. And then what we would do is we'd already have the channel coast here. So we would move that to a port right next to where we're going. That's the number one thing. So if I put amphib landing over here in my, I was like taking off from Dunkirk to Dover, this Navy would have to take time moving over here, which is going to kill your naval invasion. So your ships are over here, but you're transporting troops right here. No good. So move your Navy up. That's going to be the first key. Second key, don't ignore your sub Navy. So what you could do, subs are basically the only thing that they're good for is convoy rating now. Uh, they used to be able to use them for naval invasion support to increase your naval superiority, your naval supremacy in different zones. What I like to do is if we're, for instance, invading the UK home island here, I like to put them around the home, line, the home island on a convoy raiding uh, mission. And that's so the English divisions, when they get cut off, say, in Plymouth, they're going to go from Plymouth over to Cardiff. I'm going to be able to take those divisions out or at least disrupt them with the convoy raiding of the subs. And I do believe that this will help out um, naval supremacy a little bit, uh, but subs are basically useful, useless now for naval invasion support. And... Um, the other thing that you need to do, only put your subs and your main Navy out on their missions when you're ready to, to go ahead and do your amphibious landing. You do not want to put them out a moment before. You want to pause micro and do it exactly at the same time. Okay, the next item that on our list here, you want to make sure that you have green air over your naval invasion. So we're talking about combined arms here. Just focusing on Navy is not enough in Hearts of Iron 4. You have to worry about your air, land, and sea forces, and then you need to be able to micro them together uh, to be able to, to succeed. So you're worried about all three, Navy, air, and land forces at the same time. So 
Hopefully you've prepped your sea zone that you're crossing with air before you try your amphibious landing and micro your Navy in the English Channel here. So you want to make sure that you have uh, kind of destroyed uh, or at least wounded a lot of the English Navy before you attempt a landing. And it's going to take you some time to get the feel of, you know, when it's safe to try to go for an amphibious landing like that. But speed is the key. Uh, and making sure that all your forces are in concert at the same time. So just focusing on Navy is not going to be enough. You're going to need the other uh, arms of your forces to help you out. And so this was just a really quick guide. That's all I do. That's all I do with Navy. You can get into other stuff. You can get into advanced techniques of, of uh, like going for naval doctrine and uh just going raider patrols here and buffing your heavy cruisers you could do a heavy cruiser build i've got a video on that you should check that out um basic naval mechanics it's on my youtube channel um it'll show you just just kind of how to upgrade your navy and do all this cool navy stuff it's just germany's not a very naval nation um, but if you're a nation like Italy, there's plenty of naval upgrades that you have to make. And then you get into how to upgrade your capital ships and how to upgrade um, your forces there. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them or make a video. Uh, but yeah, I hope this is this helps um, not like a really big in-depth guide, but just uh, generally uh, what you can do to, to succeed in your naval landings. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.